Welcome to this mini tutorial series on the Web Audio API. Web Audio is a powerful API built into most modern browsers. It allows you to work with audio in various different ways. In this series, we are going to dive into the Web Audio API and find out how we can use it for different things. You can do so many cool things with Web Audio, and the API is really huge, so we'll not have time to dive deeply into every single aspect of it. Instead, my goal with this series is to give you an introduction to how you can use it. And that's everything from how we can play audio files, get input from various sources, use oscillators for creating synths, and then also how we can work with these inputs. That could be from a simple volume control, panning, effects like reverb and delay, and filters such as an equalizer. And maybe we'll even get into how we can visualize audio. So we're not going to create a big and fancy project. In, instead, we're just going to have a look at all the basics of the API, and hopefully you'll get inspired to learn more about it and build your own awesome projects. To get you inspired, though, I am going to show you a few cool projects made using the Web Audio API. So check this out. And a great place to go if you want to check out some really cool things made with the Web Audio API is uh, the Chrome Music Lab. And I'll leave a link in the description for that. Um, if we scroll down a little bit, we can see here how were these built. And it says that all of the experiments here are built with freely accessible web technologies such as Web Audio API, Web MIDI, and ToneJS. Uh, ToneJS is just a library, a JavaScript library built on top of the Web Audio API, so you can uh, do more things easier. But um, if we have a look at uh, some of these, you know, there are so many different things that we can try out. Let's try out this one first. It's called Arpeggios. Let's click on that and see what happens. And it is basically a circle of fifths. I, I can click the play button and I get some arpeggios. I can change this here. I can change the, the key, this minor major out here. I can change the instrument and I can change uh, the tempo. It's a metronome here. And this is really cool. So this is something you can make. Um, and uh, let's check out another one here. This one is pretty cool. This is for audio visualization. Let's try that out. So if I start to speak, I think something should happen. Actually, I have to click this microphone button first and I have to, you can see that something's happening. Every time I talk, you can see this graphical thing going on here. So yeah, I don't know about that, but uh, that is pretty cool as well. You can do many different cool things. Now it's playing the stuff that I, I think, I don't know what's going on actually, to be honest, but this is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna go back here and see if we can have a look at one final one here. How about this uh, Melody Maker? It looks like a sequencer that you can, um, that you can use. I can, I can do something like this. I can play. It's pretty cool. I don't know how to use it yet, but uh, it is pretty darn cool that you can uh, do this stuff. Here's a song maker. I think that's uh, basically a sequencer as well, where you just plot in these different things. Let's try to... I'm just gonna do something random. And it plays. Yeah, um, so I guess you can do a lot of different things. Um, Yes, I'm sure. All right, I know you can do a lot of different things. That this shared piano is actually pretty cool as well. It means you can uh, you can go on this one. You can uh, play with your friends. You can send them a link, and then you can play along with your friends using a MIDI keyboard. And I have one connected here to my computer. So that works as well. That is so cool. Uh, so as you can see, you can do so many cool things. And of course, you need to do other things that just learn using the Web Audio API. There's a lot of stuff to learn here. But uh, let's um, let's get started on, on this series uh, in the next video by having a look at how you can load audio into your browser in a very, very simple way using the audio tag, um, the HTML5 audio tag. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And please like and subscribe. and um, See you in the next video.